Hi everyone, this is Danny Klaus. So I thought I would do something a little different today and talk about this guitar and give you an overview of what it's about and how it sounds. This is a Heritage H575 and it is, I believe, from 2014 and I got it in 2018. Um, if you're familiar with this particular model, you'll know that this one is a little different, though it's not a custom. It has um, one humbucker in the neck. Normally these guitars have two, one in the neck and one in the bridge. Uh, the humbucker is a Seth Lover uh, low, output, uh, low output humbucker. Um, I think they used to have the, the Schallers um, before, but um, I guess Heritage switched to the Seth Lovers. And so anyway, that's the first difference is that there's only um, one pickup and there's no pick guard. And that was actually, for me, when I bought it, one of the main kind of attractive features about it was that it was a little different. I was just looking for a single pickup guitar in the neck because I wanted to use it for jazz, which this excels at uh, in leaps and bounds. And so that's sort of the backstory. Um, it is in vintage wine burst finish. I'll try to get a little closer here. You can kind of see the front. There's a lot of glare, but hopefully you're getting appreciation of how pretty it is. Uh, the binding is, it seems a little thicker than I guess what they're using now, but maybe that's just, you know, not true. <laughs> maybe that's just sort of some sort of, you know, in my own head or something, but okay. What else? The fingerboard is made of rosewood. The body uh, the top is made of spruce and the backs and sides are made of maple which is another difference because usually these are solid maple guitars um the the neck is mahogany and the as i mentioned the fingerboard is rosewood and you know the other thing is that and this gets to what heritage is about but like it's really like solid and kind of heavy and the whole kind of vibe of the instrument the whole vibe of the company is things that are done in the old way uh, the old way of making uh, guitars. This is a hollow body, but Heritage is pretty well known also for their H150, which is akin to a Gibson Les Paul as a solid body. And they make some just incredibly killer um, semi-hollow body guitars, the H535 and also the H530. And then they have the, the hollow body. Um, bunches of guitars like the H575, which is meant to, I think, kind of um, be a take on the Gibson um, ES175. And if I understand this correctly, the body is a little thinner, but the woods are all solid, whereas in the Gibson ES175, they are laminate. Okay, so uh, what else? The bridge is floating. Um, the tailpiece, you can kind of see is not fancy. It doesn't have like those fingery kind of tuning devices on the edge, but it's uh, very functional and, you know, nice. And um, that's basically the kind of overview. I, you know, I'm looking at my left hand and it's just really, everything is thick on the neck, at the neck joint for sure. I mean, it's just, you know, this big thing and the neck is thick and um you know almost like a baseball bat neck and personally i love that because i come from more of an acoustic background when i first started playing and i you know all things being equal i would rather have a thicker neck than a thinner neck um so that's just something to keep in mind though if you're looking at a guitar like this i suspect with the hollow bodies that the necks will be thicker i put um flat wound strings on this. These are 12s. And 
when I first got it, there were, um, I think, like round wound tens, and it just for my my ear for my playing purposes, it didn't fit well. So that's why I switched to flat wound twelves, and so that basically makes us a jazz guitar. And I say that with some kind of, I guess, hesitation because I don't like the idea that guitars have to only be used for one style of music, and you can play. It's true, any style of music on any style of guitar. But I do think that some guitars are more to different degrees, you know, more suitable for different styles, we'll say that. So for this one, the reason why I call it a jazz guitar is because of its kind of pedigree for where it's coming from. It is a hollow body. It's got flat wound 12s on it. It's, the sound is, you know, this bass thump is just very kind of jazzy in that way to kind of counterpoint the bass off the higher notes. And the other reason why I would call it a jazz guitar is that when I pick it up, that's what I want to play without planning it. It just kind of happens. And But not only that, when I do, the ideas that I can get are more expansive and more interesting and just take me to more interesting places than when I'm playing jazz on my SG, which I do sometimes also. So that's sort of um, why I would call it a jazz guitar. And the the H575s that are out there now, though, they do have two pickups, and you know you can quite easily um, put some gain on them, put on the bridge pickup, and it'll sound just as good as any rock guitar. I've done that before, not on this model, of course, but on others, and they are um, just amazing, really. Okay, so uh, let's um, go through some tones, and we'll kind of you know hear how it sounds. I'm gonna take off the volume and we'll try to play it just sort of without without the amplification and by the way I'm running through a focus right uh, straight into the box so you know with an actual proper amp or even a semi proper amp it's gonna sound even better I think than what you're hearing today but here it is unplugged <laughs> I should say that when I'm playing that, I can feel the vibration coming through, you know, uh, through the body of the guitar to into my ribs, which is just, you know, something I love. And I feel like every guitar should have that element of it. Okay, so here it is with a pick, and I almost never use a pick, but I thought I would, you know, give it a shot. So let's now turn to the amplification again through the focus right. And so I'll put this like, a, I don't know, like eight on the volume. We'll put the tone down to like seven. And I'll just do some, um, some scales first. Chords. first got it, the mids, especially on the G strings, were for whatever reason getting lost. I just couldn't, you know, hear them the way I wanted to, but I just adjusted the pull pieces on the pickup, and that solved that. Okay, some open chords. So that's basically the overview. Um, you know, I would recommend this guitar um, all the way 
you know, to pretty much anyone who is even kind of closely interested in jazz or anything kind of approximating jazz. If that's kind of what you're interested in and you're looking for a hollow body, um, this is a good way to go. They are expensive. Um, I managed to get a good deal on this one, but the, you know, like the prices of everything right now, they're going higher and higher. So it, you don't necessarily need this guitar for jazz. I mean, I did another video on um, my J Mascus Jazz Master, which is way cheaper than this. And I play jazz on that all the time. And it sounds as good. It's just different, you know? So if you want, though, something, again, a very, very unapologetically old school instrument, um, but made recently because, you know, they're making guitars all the time, but again, made in the old way and just with that whole kind of vibe and energy coming from the instrument, then I can't really think of a better um, of a better instrument now. I mean, of course, you can always buy, you know, used Epiphones, used Gibsons, uh, new Gibsons, but these, to my ears, are as good as any of those and uh, just a really kind of you know exciting instrument and also a really interesting company too when you start you know learning about their history and what they're about they're doing some really um some good work i think in the guitar world all right so yeah i would definitely recommend it um if you want to go into the jazz world so thanks for watching and i hope you found the uh demonstration review critique whatever you want to call it useful I would be interested to know and hear from anyone who is playing really any heritage guitar because I'm a huge fan of them, but especially the hollow bodies, especially the, not only this one, the H575, but the H530, which I played once um, a couple years ago, and I have not forgotten about it because I'm just, you know, it sounded that good. Very different though, because it's semi-hollow body and it's got the Lawler uh, P90s in them, so the sound is completely different. All right, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay well, happy guitaring, and I will see you next time. Take care.